Let's practice managing cells and ranges here in Excel 2013. You can download this file from strv.ms forward slash 1H capital L 9 capital R 4 capital C. We want to analyze this information based on the categories. So let's use the idea of using subtotals and grouping to help us understand uh, what's happening in terms of each category. So the first thing we must do is to sort the information. I'm going to highlight my table here. And I'm going to go to Data, Sort. I'm going to sort by the, the category. Not by the name, but by the category. Click OK. And you can see that now we are sorted by category and it looks like Excel automatically sorts in a second priority uh, the name here. What we have here is a roster of New York Yankees and we have catchers, infielders, outfielders, pitchers, etc. Now within this data tab we're going to click on subtotal this button here and we're going to focus here on each change in the category. So for each category, we want to sum. We want to find the sum of the salaries. So we're going to keep adding these salaries up. And by default, the summary will be below the data, which is fine. Let's just click on OK and see what happens. So what we've done here is We've created some subtotals based on the category, and you can see that we have a catcher total now, and we have a total catcher salary amount here, and Excel automatically created some nice groups for us, such that we have this little minus sign. If I click on this, it collapses uh, this catcher, all the catchers, and if I were to collapse the infielders, you can see that there's a total salary of the infielders we can see a more overview type view. If I were to press this number two, you can see all these different categories are collapsed and you can get a sense of the, uh, the, the big picture of things. If I press the number one, all we see is the grand total. If I press the number two, we see these category totals. And if we press the number three, everything is all expanded out. So because we used the Excel idea of subtotals, grouping was done for us automatically. However, if we want to manually group things, we can do so. If I highlight these two rows, for example, and I choose group, you can see that we can group these rows. If I click OK, you can see there's a new little minus sign here that allows me to collapse or expand it. Let me press Control Z not only can we group rows we can also group columns let me try that so i'm going to click on column a and i'm going to group this column we can just group it all by itself that's fine so i'm going to group this column and notice how there's a nice collapsing minus sign here if i collapse it it hides it if i press the plus sign it expands it this kind of reminds me of hiding a column. So let me press Control Z to undo that grouping. And just a little blast from the past here, you can also right click, hide a column. And to unhide it, generally you highlight the uh, columns to the left and right of it and right click unhide. But in this case, it might be a bit tricky because it's on the far left, but just make sure you highlight column B, drag to the left, right click, unhide, you should be able to get it back. So let's uh, just finish off by playing with some of these outline options. If we go to ungroup and clear the outline, you can see that it goes away. We still have these nice uh, totals, the nice information here. And if we go to group, auto outline, you can see that we get it all back. If I press the number two, you can see these subtotals and the grand total. 
and this it's interesting to note that once you group everything and you collapse everything by pressing number two where everything is nice and collapsed if you choose ungroup clear outline that everything automatically is expanded out again so now let's press the subtotal button again and you can see that we can get rid of the summary below data information click on OK and by doing that you can see there's no grand total anymore and if we click on the subtotal button here we don't have to choose the sum instead we can find the average or the min or max so if I choose average for example we're talking about the average salary click OK what we have here is the average of each category so the catcher average is 2803 the infielder average you might have to expand out this column just a little bit by double clicking between the two letters is here and the grand average is here is on top no I don't like that so I'm gonna click on subtotal and place a summary below the data click OK so we have all these nice averages and there's a grand average at the bottom so it's nice that we can um, we can group and subtotal information so that we can have a more overview uh, perspective this kind of reminds me a little bit about pivot tables so keep up the good work if you uh, continue doing what you're doing uh, you'll be like so keep up the good work you'll be like Suzuki a 40 year old star